What is going on guys? Of course it's Jordan here, back again with another video. And if you haven't already noticed by the shirt and by the title, today we're gonna be taking a good, hard, long look back uh, over the course of the last year and thinking about where I've come and what I've learned since I failed my first year twice uh, here at the University of Bristol. So because like basically most of my subscribers at the moment have come from that video, I wanna say a good like 33, like a third, 33% or a third of my channel. So I'm going to assume that most of you guys, if not all of you guys watching this, have already seen that video. But if you haven't, of course, click the i, you know, the i card up here. I'll put a link in it for you to watch my first video about how I failed. And yeah, today we're going to look back at over the course of the last year and to see where I've come. Now, some of you guys have noticed by now that, you know, I'm making this video now in April, March, whereas like that video came out in July, the first time I failed. And the reason for that is because obviously at the moment we're, we're going through this unprecedented times, this illness 19. And what that means, like the University of Bristol, along with like a bunch of other top, top universities, uh, we've all decided to go over no detriment, uh, like a safety net policy, which basically means that, I'm not going to explain it in depth, but essentially it means that whatever grade you're on now is the grade you're going to get at the end of the year. So if you're on a first class, um, any exam results you get below a first is going to be like disregarded. Anything above a first will still count and that will boost up your score. So basically you can only get better than you already have. And I'm literally just below a 2-1 this year so if i keep if i maintain my trajectory and i do better next term as i'm confident i will um that's a 2-1 so i've literally gone from failing the year getting less than 40 percent to getting 60 in to be fair like I, I spent half of this year in newport and like another country so i didn't even do much work last term but for me that's crazy to go from like where i was to where i am now so i thought yeah why don't i talk to you guys about it and see uh what you guys can learn as well so yeah in an attempt to keep this video short Obviously, watch the other video if you haven't already. And I'm going to start by kind of talking about what I've learned specifically from what I mentioned in that video. So in the last video, I talked a little bit about how I'm going to be graduating the oldest and all these other things like uh, money and stuff. And I realized that none of those issues, I mean, even though I didn't care about it much at the time, none of those issues actually matter like now, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I, I want to talk a little bit about the problems that I have actually faced over the year that people have been asking me about because I feel like that's more... Uh, like interesting to go into. And the main issue for me, I feel like, is that, again, I don't, I'd never really cared about people graduating before me because being someone who's on a four year course, um, people are always gonna graduate before me anyway. But it's kind of weird to see people that were in your year at one point, you know, when we were together in first year, now they're graduating. And I, for a minute, I was like, oh damn, these people are like leaving me behind. And that was kind of hard to do over the start of the year, especially when I'm going back into the same common room for the third time in a row now. And I'm seeing people who have come in and out over the years. So that was something that was kind of tough to deal with in the first like week or two. But I quickly got over that and you quickly realise that you're kind of... Like, I don't want to draw comparisons to what's going on outside at the moment. But obviously these are unprecedented times in terms of like the economy and the world and that. But there's no real precedent for my life. There's no real precedent for your life. Obviously you can compare to other people in some capacity. But like, I'm still alive and a lot of us are still living. And until the day we die, like nothing else between now and the last day has been scripted yet. I'm not necessarily behind or ahead of where I should be. Like I'm exactly where I need to be to do um, what I want to be doing. So that, as soon as I learned that, things just got so much easier for me. And now I feel a lot less stressed. I've been going through the year from that point on, just like doing, doing me, minding my own and making sure that whatever I do today, because you also learned that, and I kind of touched on this in the last video as well, that, you know, if things happen for a reason, the reason why I failed was because I'm an idiot. And that same lesson, is that whatever happens to me tomorrow is a direct consequence of the actions I do today. Meaning that, let's say I put away 500 pounds now, tomorrow I'm gonna to have 500 pounds. Whereas if I go out and spend it, tomorrow I'm gonna to be broke. And you know, realizing that everything I do now, even though in the, you know, in the small picture, like in short term, it's like, oh, all I did was read a book. Or all I did was put money away. Or all I did was learn a new skill. In 10 years time, that could be like the game changer. That could literally, Put me on a different level to where I'm currently on in my current trajectory and learning that of course as well uh, has been very important. So those are kind of the main lessons from that, that year in particular but I want to talk to you guys mostly about what I've done over the year and basically where I am now. So I, I definitely like in terms of personal experience I touched on before that I used to lie to people and say oh like, everything was fine everything's going well but nowadays I lie a lot less which I think is really really good just in general but I've not like I've caught myself in at times trying to lie about it like oh no I'm in third year I'm doing okay and then in the minute I'm like you know what there's no point lying I just say look I failed 
yada, yada, yada. And as soon as I start talking about how I failed, I've noticed that it's very much like people don't really like talking about things that are bad. People never really go and say, oh, I'm struggling or oh, I'm sad. or People don't really talk about that, it's like their mental health. But people do want to, and I didn't know that before. I always assumed that people were literally doing fine. And no, I didn't think people were lying, like everyone's just doing well apart from me. But as soon as you kind of break that barrier, as soon as I said, oh, you know, I failed last year, they're like, oh, so did I. I'm like, what? I didn't know that. <laughs> because I didn't go to lectures, I haven't seen you before. <laughs> but it's a thing like, people do want to talk about it. And once you break that barrier, it's interesting to see, you know, the in, inside what people are thinking of how people are also coping. Like I've learned from so many people this year that I'm not the only one that hasn't like thoroughly enjoyed university, even though I do enjoy it, don't get me wrong. But it's not been the time of my life. It's not like a uh, world changing experience or whatever. I remember in school, my teachers are like, oh, a lot of people go to university and they meet their future wives and husbands there. Like I, I have not felt that <laughs> at all. So I always thought like, oh, I haven't met my wife yet. Now I feel really bad. But at the same time, it's like, that that's kind of one particular, like it's anecdotal evidence. It doesn't really mean anything. You're not supposed to, you know, my experience at uni is not supposed to be the same as everyone else's. It's always going to be different. And I didn't realize that also happened to other people as well until this year that I'm talking about it more. You know, through talking to people as well, I've learned a lot of other things like, and I've talked about this in the past, like years ago, to be fair, one of my like first ever videos about whether university was worth it or not. And even back then, like a 19 year old Jordan was talking about how I didn't think my degree was worth it, but I thought the experience was priceless. You know, having that network, having the space to do your own things, having the independence out in university was so invaluable in many ways. And I kind of mimic that thought now and saying that the things I've learned just by being out here in general, as opposed to like engineering has been priceless. I never would have learned. I mean, my parents, even when I go home now for like Christmas and Easter, I don't cook at home, but when I'm here, you know, I'm cooking, I'm learning new recipes, I'm tidying, I'm cleaning, I'm coming up with new ways to like, wipe a plate in record time. And even though it sounds stupid, it's things that you never would have learned if you don't do it yourself at home. And again, priceless uh, lessons here. You know, I was looking through the old video the other day as well, and I got a lot of comments and people messaging me on Twitter, Instagram as well, which you can find in below, in the description below if you're interested. But I had a lot of people asking me things like, what are you doing for the, for the year? Like, how do I make my year useful? Such things like that. And literally for me, I spent so much time last year and the year before, like just building up my employability skills. Like, I feel like this YouTube channel, for example, is one thing that I'm talking about, you know, I've been work, I've been grinding for for three years, doing videos every week, talking about this. Um, I can talk about data analysis, like my views of skyrocketed at this point to this video and stuff like that. Um, I've worked on my like, presentation skills, I built my CV up. You can check my whole internship game series for more information on that as well. But like, I've done a lot of things outside of studying because if you're retaking a year and you haven't got anything to study towards in terms of university, you can still learn other skills. Like you can learn to play an instrument, you can learn a new language, you can learn coding. You can you can do so much in that time. And people don't realize that. And even right now during this lockdown, I have a lot of friends in the past that's like, ah, oh, you know, I really want to start a business but I've got no time. Or, oh, I really want to start a podcast but I've got no time. For the last three weeks, these guys have been at home playing Call of Duty Warzone like it's nothing. <laughs> and you realize that a lot of people don't really lack time. What you lack is discipline. And I spent the last two years, I, I like to say at least, just building up my discipline and getting more and more better at, of course, executing on tasks and getting things done. Um, I'm at a point now where everything I do goes onto a Google calendar, like literally everything. I'll be like three to half three, shower, half three to four, cook, and like everything is blocked out. And now it's like, just being organized is, is mad. And that's probably the best thing, what, the main thing I've done over the last two years. Because in school, it's like, you know, you go to lessons nine until three and you go home and your mum tells you to do your homework. <laughs> then you don't do your homework and you play FIFA. Or you have your kind of day blocked out. Even after school, because you finish at half three or four or whatever time school finishes, you only really have from then until dinner's ready to do your own stuff. So you have to be somewhat careful. Like you can't spend that whole time doing homework because you're going to be mad at yourself. You can't spend the whole time playing games because then you get in trouble in school the next day. So you kind of have some sort of structure. In university, that structure is very, it's like a skeleton. You kind of build your own. But when you're retaking a year, there's literally no structure. You're just out here doing whatever you want. And it's important then, for me at least, to block out time myself and to understand that, okay, on Monday, 23rd of March, I'm going to get this amount of work done. And then the next day I'll chill and I do that. And it's, yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> organisation, basically. That's the key thing that I learned 
from my year out. I also like alongside, well, like outside of, I should say, like employability skills and starting YouTube and a podcast and stuff like that. I've done a lot of things like I've got a mentor, you know, I've got an internship, so I've got jobs sorted. I've had work in the past. Uh, I learned to drive last year, which is last year, 2018. I learned to drive two years ago, got a car. You know, I've been looking at cars and stuff. I've been, I've been getting things that, things that I wanted to do in my first year or like in year 13. I'm like, oh, you know, I really want to learn to drive. I really want to do this, that and the other. Those things that I couldn't do before, I thought, you know what, now I've got the time, now I'm going to do it. And I'm doing a similar thing now, of course, during lockdown season. But it's a thing where you have to, you have to make the most of the time you have, basically, because it's going to be a point where, like this year, for example, where now I've got a full year of uni and it's like the time that I had last year, I don't have anymore. So now I've got to be more selective in what I do and what I don't do. And that includes like taking the time to make money. That includes taking the time out to save money and make friends and do things like that. Because for several reasons, to be fair, having friends and relationships is very, very important. But that kind of brings me on to the next point where I want to talk a bit more about having course friends and academic support. Because that's the main thing I feel like I missed out on in my first year. Because for me, it's coming from someone from school who's very much in tune with being in small groups, you know, classes, uh, problem classes are kind of called here at uni, but just like learning from a teacher and actually doing work. Coming into lectures and being talked at for an hour or two hours and then going your own ways, I always felt very lonely and kind of isolated. You never really had that one-to-one -one time to actually learn anything. And if you don't listen, you're kind of screwed. Even though they have the lectures online, it's nowhere near as coherent and like useful to watch it back in hindsight when you could have just been there to learn from a person. But even, you know, even heavier from that, you can't have the same experience like listening than you do actually doing the work, which is something, again, that I missed at school. And this year I learned a lot that that kind of comes down to like university is more about being independent and taking that work home, you know, doing work at home. And that whole independent structure follows through in every faucet of like what you do here at uni. That includes getting support when you need it. That includes asking your friends to help when you need it. That includes uh, emailing your lecturers or whatever. Like it's all about being independent and getting things just on your own. And you very much have to become, I want to say selfish. It's not the best way to phrase it. But you really have to be more selfish at university and think about yourself more because if you don't think about yourself, like you're going to be left behind. And that's just the truth because no one else is looking out for you. Everyone's got to look out for themselves first and then everyone else afterwards. Because again, if you're not looking out for yourself, you're going to fall behind because nobody else is looking out for you. And that's just the truth. That's just how life goes. There's nothing wrong with that. Like you have to, it's, that's, it's your life, you know, you have to put yourself first. It's kind of how it is. And that's something that I learned increasingly from the last four years <laughs> I spent uh, so far at Bristol. So yeah, like in a nutshell, that is kind of my experience so far. And similar to how I said in the last video as well, like the grind is very much all about you. If you don't work, then you don't work, you fall behind. And learning that is again, the main, the, like, that's the big thing, that's the big overarching thing. I think a lot of people struggle at university because of time management and because of organization, which I kind of did the same two things, but I, I see them separately because organization is more about or like everything you do in life, you know, if you go to the gym, like make sure you're only there for an hour and make sure your days are actually blocked out in terms of time. So that's, that's, that's what it is to me, like, at least in my experience, of course, everyone else talk about their own experience as well. But yeah, when it comes to me, being organized this year has been revolutionary and taking that forward, I'm so, so proud of myself in some capacity at least for being on a two one so far with an asterisk, because of course I still have my exams to do, which are, pass fail i guess but yeah regardless that's basically it for this video uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed it i hope you guys have learned something from my year spell of putting out you know failing first and then of course passing this year um to be continued but yeah again thanks for watching like if you enjoyed it subscribe for more also don't be afraid to message me as well i've got hundreds of messages from my last video uh, like on instagram as i said before and in the comments so again if this applies to you don't be afraid to get at me. I'm always answering like literally every single... You can go back and check all my videos. I always try to comment. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. I probably waste more... I'm going off on a tangent. I'm, I'm coming out of my time block now. But yeah. Yeah. In a bit, guys. Peace.